Hello everyone and welcome back to part 4 of the How to Make a Pest Simulator X Style Game Series. Now, before this video starts, I would like to just take a moment and say thank you. Thank you so much for the support on this channel. Because yesterday my channel reached 10,000 subscribers. I have never even imagined that I would reach such a crazy milestone. That's like fi a 5 digit number on my subscriber count. So, thank you guys. And also... In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make this damaging system so that when you send the pet to a, to a, uh, to a coin, it will start attacking it and it will deal some damage and we're going to be making the health bar work. And also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of the, the entire project files and uh, all of my project files, they will all be available on my Patreon. The map is included, uh, the scripts. Uh, the asset pack that comes with it. By the way, all of these uh, assets and the map were built by my friend Willozzi. Follow him on Twitter at Willozzi1. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make the health bar work and work on the damaging system. So what I'm going to do is inside each coin pile or chest or whatever your drop is, what I'm going to do is add a number value and this is going to be called or actually an int value not a number value sorry an integer so int value and rename this int value to uh health and the health value will be 100 and i'm going to add another value and it's going to be called current health which also will be 100 so Whenever you create a drop and you want to set a health value to it, you're going to copy these two values and just right click, copy and go to your other drop, right click, paste into and make sure that both of these values are set to the same amount of health that you want. Okay, so I'm just going to paste in these values into every single uh, coin pile and chest. They will all have a health number of 100, so I'm just going to select all of them. By the way, the way I just selected all of them is by clicking the first or last one, scrolling up or down, and select the other end of the row, and then just right-click, oh, by, by holding shift, by the way, and right-click, paste into selected. Alright, so that should work now. I'm just going to close all of this. Actually, never mind, I'm just going to continue working. What I'm going to do is work on the damaging system so all we need to do is go in here and inside of this client script i'm going to add another module script and this is going to be called uh, health or word uh, coin health oh i spelled health wrong health and what I'm going to do here is get run service. So local run service is equal to game colon get service run service. Uh, local workspace is equal to game colon get service workspace. Local what else? All right. So we need local uh, drops is equal to workspace colon way for child drops. And then that's all we need. Now what I'm going to do is run service the render steps can connect function and what i'm going to do is okay by the way i'll rename this module script to damage to deal damage or health system and what i'm going to do in here is or underscore comma drop in pairs drops on get children do and local billboard is equal to drop uh con find first child and you're gonna go to your drops and as you can see we have a billboard gy that we've made in the last tutorial and it's called health so on find first child health now what i'm going to do is um uh, we're gonna get tween service, so local tween service is equal to game. We can't get service tween service, and we're gonna tween the bar. So, uh, billboard. Okay, so tween service can't create. 
and we're gonna do billboard dot background dot bar and comma tween info tween info dot new i'm going to put it to 0 0.8 comma enum dot easing style dot sign and enum dot easing direction easing direction dot out now i'm going to put another comma in here after the tween info don't put the comma in here put in here and i'm going to do these brackets and i'll just put in uh size is equal to use m2 dot from scale this just takes uh basically just the scale values so the scale x and the scale y so what i'm going to do is take the current health so uh drop dot current health dot value divided by uh drop dot health dot value all right comma zero um comma one actually so comma one and colon play make sure you add the colon play at the end i gotta put it in the wrong place you gotta put it in here and that should work now what i'm going to do is play the game now and see if this works and what i'm going to do is also go down here and enter my client script and i'm going to change the amount of modules to two because we have two modules and now if we play the game that should hopefully work okay so we have a problem current health is not a valid member of quantifier one so let's see current current health oh okay this is gonna take a while all of them are renamed to current health instead of current health uh let's see how i can fix that okay so i just selected all of them what i'm going to do now is change the current health value name to current health so spell it correctly this time and hopefully it should work okay value is not value member of chest dot health okay oh i know why what we can do is rename the uh health value so health to instead max health so i'm just going to select all of them again and uh, well rename them okay so i've just renamed all of them to max health instead now what i'm going to do is enter my health system and change this to uh max health dot value play the game now and that should work okay so as you can see all of the sizes are one now what if i select one of these and i'll just go to the current health change it to 50 and as you can see this will scale down to 50 percent 10 we'll do that 100 back to 100 this happens i'll just put this to two and then this happens okay so now we know that this is working just fine but i think it's a bit too slow so i'm just going to put in here 0 0.4 0 0.4 is pretty good now what i'm going to do is work on the dimension system so local function okay i'm going to add the remote event inside of uh, the remotes folder and it will be called damage damage target oh i mean damage um drop and i'm going to add another one called stop damaging drop and what i'm going to do in here is replicated storage actually i'm going to get replicated storage service so local replicated storage it's equal to game call get service replicated storage and local remotes is equal to replicated storage call for child remotes now i'm going to go down here and do remotes dot damage drop dot on server event on connect function and what i'm going to do is local damage connection right here i'm going to do damage connect connection is equal to and run service dot render steps or dot uh rb connect function and what i'm going to do in here is 
create a cooldown to local debounce is equal to false. What I'm going to do is if not debounce, debounce, then debounce is equal to true. And uh, then I'm going to put a task dot wait uh, one second and debounce, debounce is equal to false. Now I'm going to wrap all of this inside of a task.spawn function, I think. Task.spawn function. So that this happens instantly. And what I'm going to do inside of here, when the debounce is set to true, is damage the target. So in here I'm going to get an argument, which will be the uh, drop. And what I'm going to do is drop dot max health. Dot that actually drop dot current health dot value is equal to math dot uh max. I think I'm pretty sure it's math dot max. Let's check. Okay, so max uh, returns the maximum value among the numbers passed. Okay, good. Math dot max, and we're gonna put in current health, current health. Uh, okay, just copy this current health dot dot, dot uh, value uh, minus ten uh, minus one. Let's say a damage of one. I'm going to also get the damage, and the damage will be here, comma zero. So we're gonna limit it to zero, and let's see what that will do. Okay. So what I'm going to do in here is enter my server modules uh, send pet. And whenever we send the pet, what I'm going to do is replicate the storage. So replicate it. Okay, we don't have a variable for that. So local replicated storage is equal to game to game. I'm going to get service replicated storage and local remotes is equal to replicated source dot remotes what i'm going to do in here is a remotes dot uh uh damage drop column fire client and that will take the player the drop and the okay we're gonna send a damage of one now what i'll do is play the game and see how this looks okay so right out of the bat we have a problem on server event can only okay easy fix we just got to change this to on client event play the game again and let's see what that does all right seems to be working now i'm just going to click this and as you can see it does start damaging the this but what i'm going to do now is change the damage to 50 and see if it will limit it to zero so 50 let's see if it will be a maximum of zero okay i am just going to click this and let's see so i'm going to go here and click my current health and as you can see it's zero now what i'm going to do in here is work on the stop health stop um uh, damaging so I'm just going to copy this line of code right here and I'm going to go in here and I'll just do this and I'm going to change this to stop damaging drop on fire client and that will take the player the drop and that's it now I'm going to go back to my uh, health system I'm going to do remotes remotes dot stop damaging drop dot on Client event call connect function uh call connect function and that will take the drop that's it uh i'm gonna do damage connection call and disconnect but before i do this i'll have to set the debounce uh, debounce to false actually we're gonna do this then set the debounce to false and after that what i'm going to do is actually that's just it i guess let's see I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change the damage to 10. And we'll see what that does.
Okay, so I'm just going to click this. As you can see, it does st start damaging it. And when, and when I do this, it stops. When I do this, it will start again. And in here, it will start stop. Now, all you need to do is update this text right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to... Okay. So we have the format number uh, module. So I'll just go ahead and check how we're doing it okay so it's just format number dot format standard okay good so what i'll do is go to my damage health system health system and whenever we do this i'll firstly require the module so we'll call uh shared is equal to replicated storage small child shared and local format format number is equal to require shared of child format number now what I'm going to do in here is just drop a line and whenever we do this, what I'm going to do is billboard dot background. Let's see what we called that. It's called health display label dot health display label dot text is equal to and we're going to do format number dot format standard. And that will just take the uh, that will just take uh, the current health. So drop dot current health health dot value, and then dot dot and the in sign dot dot again, and for, just copy this again. But this time it will be max health. That should update correctly now. Let's see. Okay, so no errors, so that means it's working. So I'll just click this. And as you can see now, the text is also updating. And I think this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!